Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Well, all of you guys who are Barbie lovers will be very happy because I am reviewing a Barbie after what seems like a long time. As we all know, this year is Barbie's 60th year and we are obviously very excited to see what Mattel has in store for us. A few dolls have already started coming out. You guys know that I love my Silkstones. Last year, I just wasn't as crazy about uh, the Silkstone collection as I've been in the past. Today we're going to be taking a look at Proudly Pink Barbie doll. She is a Silkstone doll and came out late last year in 2018. She is, I believe, the first of a pink series that we're going to be seeing for the Barbie 60th anniversary collection. I ended up getting two dolls, Proudly Pink and another doll that came out for the 60th anniversary. Ooh. Here's our girl today. She's wrapped in beautiful white tissue here. And then here underneath is the 60th anniversary Barbie. You guys will have to tune in next week to see what she's all about. All right, all right. Last week or so when these dolls arrived, I put up um, an Insta story uh, basically asking you guys if you were excited or not. And I tagged Barbie in it, you know, and she actually liked the post. So I was very excited about that. So she has this new box, which I believe started coming out last year. It's a white box and it's lined in uh, the Barbie signature pink. There is a picture of the doll here on the front, the promotional photo, and then in the back, we see all the information about the doll. It looks like this doll is limited to 20,000 pieces worldwide. Shall we open her up and see what she's all about? And take the cover off, just like so. So the little tag on here says 60 inspiring girls since 1959. Well, let's just say girls and boys, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and undo this ribbon here. Ooh. Ooh, are we ready? <laughs> One, two, and... <gasps> oh! My god, whoa! That's a lot of pink! The first thing I'm noticing is just how bright this pink is. It's almost like fluorescent. Maybe it's my lighting, I don't know, but girl, that is a lot of pink. It's just also tied down with pink ribbon, <laughs> so... It's definitely pink overload. I'm also seeing that she basically is the same doll as the little black dress silkstone that came out a few years back. Beautiful pink hair indeed. I know that we were all quite excited about that. She has a big Barbie brooch here, which I think many of us were excited about as well. And then she has gloves on and a fitted pencil skirt here that says Barbie since 1959. So she's definitely celebrating her heritage, okay? And then to the side here, we see a little logo pink clutch. Right, so she lifts out of her box just like so. There is the inside here. Yeah, I, I'm just not crazy about these white boxes. Okay, so the certificate of authenticity is taped to the back. I think we started seeing this recently. They don't feel as glam when they're taped back here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow, okay. So the stand is now inside the little bag that has her certificate of authenticity and her care instructions. Right, there we go. One less thing for them to do, I guess, labor-wise. It's a white weighted stand that we generally see with our Silkstone dolls. And then inside the little bag here, we see her certificate of authenticity, Gorge Proudly Pink Barbie doll. And then underneath that, we see her care instructions here. She is tied down here in the back with silk ribbons, very, very bright pink, like fuchsia pink, like electric fuchsia, okay. I've had a love-hate relationship with this outfit, to be honest. From the moment I saw it online, I was just kind of like, oh, I just, I'm not sure that I'm vibing with all the pink, kind of clashing together. Let's just hope that at the end of this review, I'm just gonna be gaga for her, because as of right now, I'm just kind of like, eh. I think she's ready to come out here. Ooh, hey girl, hey. Oh my God, pink overload. Inside the box here on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, depending on which way you're looking at it, is the clear portion of her stand. We're gonna go ahead and take all these extra pink ribbons off. Oh my God, I see Velcro. Oh no. Oh my God. This is not the fashion model collection standard that I am used to. Oh, you guys. Oh, that jacket does not look cute when it's not cinched with this thing. Oh no, I'm so disappointed. Oh, I wanna like this so bad. But <laughs> something about it feels so wrong. Oh, <laughs> I feel like the team at Mattel's gonna like watch this and like hate me. I guess it doesn't matter. They don't really send me anything right now anyway. I feel like this outfit is very Jeremy Scott. Here is Proudly Pink Barbie doll out of her box. And wow, you guys, I feel like this camera also is picking up how <laughs> 
<laughs> bright and nearly fluorescent she is. I feel like my camera's actually kind of freaking out. I feel like a lot of these pieces on its own probably will look beautiful. I'm just not yet sold about them all being together. I do like the silhouette of her top here. It's a beautiful three quarter length file top and I really, really love her Barbie brooch. We see pink gloves there and then a little bit of her arm peeking through. We see her little purse here, which is actually quite adorable. There is her hang tag there. It says Barbie fashion model collection on one side. And then on the other, we see the 60 logo on it, which we saw on the little box tag as well. There is her little pencil skirt. Um, it is quite fitted on her and it has the Barbie since 1959 logo on it, logo mania. And here are her stretch fitted boots here. I don't know how far up they go. They're almost like pantyhose, but I guess we'll see when we take her um, skirt off here. But yeah, they are an interesting boot. I do like the sole and the heel. The craftsmanship is neat. It is beautiful. It definitely has a high fashion feel. Here she is from the back. We see uh, a couple of snaps here in her top. And then here is that belt with the Velcro on it. Oh my God, how disappointing you guys, right? I mean, would it have killed them to put a silver snap on it? Just like one of these. Oi, oi, oi. I just can't get over all this pink. There she is without the gloves. Is that any better? I feel like maybe what Robert Best was trying to do with this was kind of create that like shock factor. You know what I mean? Like that Moschino shock factor where you're just kind of like, whoa, that's heinous, but it's also chic. It's also fun. I'm very much kind of trying to keep an open mind about all this. So, okay, let's go ahead and get this Velcro belt off. I gotta say, I am so disappointed about that. I did not expect that. This is uh, a $75 doll. I think that's how much she cost. And yeah, I don't like seeing Velcro in our Barbie fashion model collection. Oh, wow. So the boots are full on like pantyhose, basically. They go all the way up. Who made these? I feel like I've seen these on the runway before. I think maybe it was Balenciaga. Either way, it's interesting. Cute. Here is proudly pink Barbie in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at her little itty bitty silkstone articulated physique here. The face is obviously beautiful because it has that 1959 original mold to it. The hair is definitely pink and it's pretty. It's a high ponytail here that's covered in by itself. And then we see the front kind of folded down around her head just like so. There is uh, a little bit of gel here towards the bottom of the hairstyle and then it's quite soft up here. So it's good quality hair. Now here has always been my qualm with the articulated bodies. The head just looks ginormous when her clothes are off. And even with her clothes on, I feel like the 1959 head requires a larger body, right? So that's always kind of been my thing with it because it just looks ill-proportioned. She does have a really sweet little manicure here, a beautiful rich pink manicure that matches her little toes here. And she has the articulated silkstone body, which we have talked about in the past. She moves here up at the shoulder and then here at the elbow and then here at the wrist. Uh, her hands do not pop off or anything like that. And then she moves underneath her breastplate here. Her head obviously does move as well, just like so. She does actually move here at the waist. I know that a number of you guys who have these articulated dolls um, have asked me that. So there we go, just like so. It's a little bit tough at first. It feels like it's not going to, but uh, that is a point of articulation there. And then her legs do go out to the side here. They kick out to the front. It is a rubber band jointed mechanism there that is keeping her legs strung. And and then she kicks out at her knee just like so. The knees definitely have gotten better from the very first doll that they did of these, which was like three years ago, four years ago now. Uh, it's definitely a little bit easier to move, which it was not in the beginning, so that's great. She does have that nice thick calf that the original Silkstone has, um, the non-articulated bodies, so that is interesting because I still feel like it's off proportion. And then there she is in the back, just like so. We see her little gold stamp there that has her serial number on it, just like that. Here is her sweet little bright pink top. Uh, in terms of fabric, it feels like a synthetic blend file. I like that the fabric has a little bit of a texture to it. I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a luxe feel. It is cinched here at the waist uh, with a little bit of what feels like elastic. Yep, it is indeed elastic. Three quarter length here. Uh, they are set in sleeves, so that is a nice touch. Here is her beautiful little 
brooch. It's a silver logo brooch here that says Barbie. There is a little bit of clear stone detail here at the top and then a little drop here. It is actually sewn onto her. We see actually the little stitch mark here in the front right at that B. Looks like maybe, oh yeah, it has like a little pick to it. So it goes through the fabric just like so. Maybe we can actually take the stitches off so we don't see it in the front and then the pick kind of just holds it in place. And then when we turn this around, here we are in the back. Uh, there are two snaps that open and close this piece, silver snaps, just like so. The construction of it is nice. It's uh, not amazing, but it's nice. It's nicely done here. It's neatly uh, finished off. We see the whole thing is actually lined. We see that the sleeves are actually lined. So that is a nice touch. So these things, obviously, I appreciate. This is what we have always seen in the past in the Barbie Fashion Model Collection. No tags or anything in here. And then we see that high neckline uh, just like so. The piece finishes off with this little belt and disappointingly it is Velcro. I am really not pleased at that uh, at all. It does kind of cinch the top in a little bit because her little waist is so tiny. It is the same file fabric as her top. Here's her adorable little logo clad pencil skirt here, a nice fitted silhouette. It is also fully lined, so that is nice. The hem is done quite beautifully here in that the outside fabric and the inside fabric joined so uh, neatly down there. And then in the back here, we see two darts coming down into her bum to give this piece some shape. We see a center back seam that goes down into a slit that is also nicely lined. So again, nice little touches. The fabric feels uh, like a silk, a synthetic silk and then the printing on top of that says Barbie since 1959. One silver snap that opens and closes the garment and then on the inside there, we see the little Barbie fashion model tag. If I can get to it. Ta-da! Here are her full-length pantyhoe-esque boots. It's interesting, like I definitely give them an A for creativity and kind of stepping outside of the bounds of what Barbie would wear. In terms of its construction, it appears to be a pink shoe that is sewn into a pair of leggings. It's stretchy here at the waist. There is a seam coming down the front and then a seam coming down the back. And then we see that long seam all the way down the back here that meets the pink stiletto portion of her shoe. Here are her little pink gloves. They are in a stretchy nylon blended fabric. It's the same fabric that we see her full length boots in. Very similar in construction to many gloves that we've seen in the past. Here is her little pink clutch purse. It's quilted. This definitely has a very Moschino vibe to it. There's a little chain that's going through and it kind of loops through so you can pull it at any angle here. So that's cute. The whole thing opens and closes with one silver snap here, just like that. Aha, so then there we see the inner workings of the little chain. Cute, okay, love it, love it. Uh, in terms of internal construction, nothing specifically fabulous here. We see that it's a quilted like fabric and then we actually see the back side of it. So the purse is not lined or anything like that. The flat portion of it is in fact lined in the same logo clad fabric. And it also says Barbie since 1959 on it. Yep, so that's actually what the whole purse is made of. But because of this quilting um, top stitch, we don't really see exactly what it says. So there we have it, you guys. This is the lovely, proudly pink Barbie doll that is celebrating the 60th anniversary of Barbie. I like her. I don't love her. I think I'm gonna be doing like a major restyling of her. And if you guys wanna see that, let me know and I'll film it. I feel like there are definitely some winning attributes here. I'm just not sure that all of this together is pleasing for me at least. I know that she has been sold out on Barbie.com for a little while now, so uh, make sure to put your name into the notify me section if you are interested in her. And I'm sure they're gonna be, you know, doing a redrop of her soon because there's 20,000 of her to go around. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Find me on Instagram. I'm at Suresh NY. That's generally where I post all my updates. And until I see you guys again, Barbie and I are headed down to the Fairmont Olympic Hotel. They are hosting a fabulous Barbie party for us to celebrate 60 years of Barbie, one of many parties really. We're excited to sip on some pink cocktails, mingle with our friends, and dance the night away. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses for me and Barbie here in Seattle. And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye.